Okay, how are you? Well, a lot of people ask me about the bees. What do the bees do in the winter? And it's really nice out today. It's maybe 55 and you can see the bees are out. Everybody's out. You can hear one of my kids is uh, splitting wood over there and I've got other kids skateboarding in the driveway. I don't know when skateboarding became so loud, but they're on a box and you can, you'll hear it throughout the video. Anyway, um, so what, what do the bees do during the winter? Well, one thing they do is they kick out all of the drones. The drones are males and the workers are females. And the males are a lot bigger than the females. The drones are a lot bigger. And the workers just, uh, they, they just kick the drones out. They just sort of will uh, bite at their wings and pull them out of the hive and kick them all out and they're all over the ground at the bottom of the hive basically dead and uh, what happens is there's still a fertile queen in the hive and in the spring more drones will be born. Now the drones they can't sting, they don't have a stinger and they don't collect nectar and that's why the workers kick them out of the hive because they eat a lot of food. They eat a lot of the honey and the bees need that honey during the winter to survive because what they do is they keep the hive I think it's 90 degrees. They keep the inside of the hive at 90 degrees and they do that by vibrating and to uh, get the energy to do that they eat the honey. That's why you can't take all of the honey out of the hive. Uh, another uh, interesting thing is what they do is they they create, I think it's called a cluster, but it reminds me of what penguins do where you'll see uh, or you'll hear, you may have heard about penguins and Antarctica where they have a, a circle of penguins and they just sort of rotate from the middle out. Uh, it sounds to me like that's what the bees do. Uh, they're just keeping that queen warm and they're keeping an area in the hive at 90 degrees and they'll do that through the winter. Now that's if all goes well. There's a good chance they could die uh, and not make it through the winter. So we'll see. But we had a really cold day here, I think it was Tuesday, where it was 21 degrees at night and I looked in the hive the next day through the window and you would swear that there were no bees in the hive uh, but as you can tell there's a lot of bees they were just in one area and you you couldn't see them so uh, a couple of things that I've done to get the hive ready for the winter is I put weather stripping on the door of the hive and then close the door I've also put corks in two of the holes I don't want you don't want to cover all of the holes because the bees need to be able to get out even in a day if there's a day in January where it's 50 degrees the bees will leave the hive because they don't uh, relieve themselves in the hive they go out for a flight and relieve themselves and come back they're very clean and they always are getting rid of any of the dead bees that are in the hive um, so anyway I put the two corks there to help keep uh, the wind out of the hive and underneath the roof I put a moving blanket just to help try to insulate the hive a little bit and I've even thought about maybe painting the front of the hive here black with the idea that the Sun would help heat it up but uh, I'm not sure about that yet I don't want to confuse them I, I'm not sure if you can go and paint the hive a different color without confusing the bees when they come back I don't think so uh, but that might help if the front of the hive was painted black it might help absorb some of the heat from the uh, sun, this is facing the south. There's a drone, you see that big drone? He's one of the ones that are left. He can't sting. He can't sting you, I got him. Oops, he got away. He flew away, but there's just a couple of them still in there, but there have been so many that have just been at the bottom of the hive. And I put the camera here because I noticed a drone when I was talking before. So there's, I guess, still a couple in there but they probably won't last long. Here are a few dead bees that I found at the base of the hive. And the smaller bee here is a worker bee, a female bee. And this larger bee is a drone. This is a male. You can also see the eyes are much bigger and they're actually connected. And the worker has much smaller eyes. Now, I had mentioned that the drone can't sting so it can't defend the hive and it doesn't bring any food back to the hive so that's one of the big reasons for getting rid of the drones and uh, I guess there's maybe a few drones left but I think that they'll all be gone um, 
at some point this winter and then what will happen is new drones will be born because there's still a fertile queen in the hive. I removed the jars of sugar syrup the other day when it was going to get cold like that because I didn't want the jars to break in the hive. But tomorrow they're calling for 70 degrees and rainy so I'll remove one of the corks and put a little syrup back in there in case they want to eat a bit more. Well, I don't know if that all of that information is 100% accurate, but it's pretty close, and you could always use that as a, as something as a jumping-off point to do a, maybe a little bit more research if you want to know more about it. But I think that uh, I'm pretty close to what bees do during the winter. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you soon.